Hello, welcome to this mathematics lesson on squares and square roots. In this video, we'll be looking at whole numbers. And uh, here, the square of 5 means 5 to the power of 2, which is the same thing as 5 times 5. And 5 times 5 is 25. Also, the square root of 25 will be written as this square root of 25 since 5 times 5 is 25 therefore square root of 25 is 5 this is the relationship between square of a number and its square roots so we now look at some examples on how to calculate the square root of a whole number so we start from a part of this problem um, we look at 900 to be 9 times 100 9 is a perfect square because 9 can be expressed at 3 squared 100 is a perfect square so it can be expressed as 10 squared so we have a uh, 900 as 3 squared times 10 squared therefore square root of 900 now is going to be we will divide this power by 2 because we are dealing with square root divide the power by 2 we have 1 we have it as 3 this is power 2 also divided by 2 this will give us a uh, 10 and the square root of 900 is 30 so we go to b we look at 2500 to be 25 times 100 also 25 is a perfect square so we write 25 as 5 squared and we already know that 100 is a perfect square and uh, it is written as 10 squared now square root of 2500 and to get the square root here we look at this looking at this square root of 5 squared means 5 that is if you divide these two by 2 you get 1 5 raised to the power 1 is 5 so we have it as 5 and square root of 10 squared is 10 and that will give us the square root of 2500 as 50 then we go to example 2 for example 2, we have find by factors the square root of 324. So we are going to express 324 as product of prime factors. Then we find the square root from there. So we create a table. This is the column for the number we are going to express as product of prime factors and uh, since 2 can divide 324 we start with a uh, 2 3 divide by 2 gives 1 remainder 1 that's making it 12 12 divide by 2 gives 6 so 4 divide by 2 gives a uh, 2 and we go with 2 16 divide by 2 gives a uh, 8 and 2 divide by 2 gives 1 Two cannot divide 81 again we look at the next prime number which is 3 so 3 divides 81 so we go with 3 81 divided by 3 that is 8 divided by 3 gives 2 remainder 2 then that will be left with 21 divided by 3 gives 7 so we have it as 7 and again 3 can divide 27 so we go with 3 27 divided by 3 gives 9 and 3 goes into 9 9 divided by 3 gives 3 and 3 divided by this 3 again gives 1 therefore 324 will be equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 so we have expressed 324 as product of prime factors 
so to get the square root now we group the same numbers into two two like this is two here this is two here we group it as one this is three 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 so we group the first two threes there and the last two threes from each of these grouping we pick the two so we pick two here we pick three here and we pick three here three times three nine nine times two gives uh, 18 which gives the square root of 324 we go to the next example example three find the square root of 1296 by factors um, again we create a table here so we have the number here it is not always we divide by prime factors we can also divide by perfect squares such as uh, 4 9 16 25 and so on so if we look at this number 4 can divide 1296 because the last two digits here is divisible by 4 we go with 4 12 divided by 4 gives uh, 3 9 divided by 4 gives 2 remainder 1 16 divided by 4 gives uh, 4 so we go with 4 again 32 divided by 4 gives 8 4 divided by 4 gives 1 if you look at this this is 81 81 is divisible by 9 that's the next perfect square so we go with 9 it's 1 divided by 9 gives 9 9 divided by 9 gives 1 so that 1296 is 4 times 4 times 9 times 9 so grouping them into 2 2 we can have it as 4 raised to power 2 times 9 raised to power 2 so that square root of 1296 will be the 4 times 9 since this powers are 2 2 so this is 9 times 4 which gives 36 therefore square root of 1296 is 36 by factor method but in this one we made use of perfect squares that are factors of 1296 so we go to example four for example four we have express 5184 as product of prime factors in index form hence find the square root of 5184 in this problem it is mandatory we express 5184 as product of prime factors as the question demands so we go bring in 5184 2 can divide this number so we go with 2 2 goes into 5 gives uh, 2 remainder 1 that's 11 divided by 2 gives uh, 5 remainder 1 18 divided by 2 gives a uh, 9 4 divided by 2 gives a uh, 2 so 2 can still divide we go with 2 2 divided by 2 gives 1 5 divided by 2 gives 2 remainder 1 in 19 will give us a 9 remainder 1 in 12 that will give us a 6 since we have 6 as the last digit 2 goes into 1296 so 2 goes into 12 will give us a 6 into 9 gives a 4 remainder 1 into 16 gives a 8 2 can still go 6 divided by 2 gives 3 4 divided by 2 gives 2 and 8 divided by 2 gives a 4 and again 2 goes 3 divided by 2 gives 1 remainder 1 12 divided by 2 gives a 6 no remainder 4 divided by 2 gives a 2 2 can still go 16 divided by 2 gives 8 2 divided by 2 gives 1 and this time around 2 cannot divide it to 1 again 
since 8 plus 1 gives 9 so 81 is divisible by 3 8 divided by 3 is 2 remainder 2 21 divided by 3 gives 7 so 27 divided by 3 gives uh, 9 divided by 3 gives 3 divided by 3 gives 1 so we have 5184 will be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times two. Then multiply by 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3. So we can write this in index form. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This will give us a 2 to the power of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 threes there. That will be 3 to the power of 4. So from here we can find the square root of 5184 and uh, to do that um, this is 2 raised to power 6. We divide the power by 2 because we are looking for square root that will now give us 2 raised to power 3 then dividing this power by 2 will give us 3 raised to power 2. 2 raised to power 3 gives uh, 8 times 9 gives 72 therefore the square root of 5184 is 72 we go to problem 5 question 5 says express 1089 as product of prime factors in index form hence find the square root of 1089 again in a tabular form we put the number here um, 2 cannot divide 1089 but when we add 1 plus 8 gives 9 plus 9 18 is divisible by 3 therefore 3 can divide 1089 so we go with 3 10 divided by 3 gives uh, 3 remainder 1 bring the 1 here this becomes 18 divided by 3 gives 6 9 divided by 3 gives 3 so 3 can still divide again 3 goes into 3 1 3 goes into 6 gives 2 3 goes into 3 gives uh, 1 so we have 121 which is a perfect square and uh, the square root of 121 is 11 so we can just say 11 goes into 121 which gives 11 so 11 goes into 11 again to give us uh, 1 so we now have 1089 to be 3 times 3 times 11 times 11. So writing it in index form now we have, there are two threes there. So we have it as 3 squared times 11 squared. So find the square root of 1089. The power here is 2 divided by 2 gives 1. So we have it as 3 times 11 which gives 33 and that is the square root of 1089 and this is the end of this video until we come your way again goodbye